So coming coming from DC, and they say we the crabs in the barrel. Uh, I guess we named ourselves that. So what what was the the, the show or the opportunity that you received from like being a comedian that you was you said to yourself like I made it, like this is it. Hmm. I think when I was 19 and I did Def Comedy Jam, my first Def, Def Comedy Jam, mm -hmm. I felt like, you know, that first show, like, you know, Def Jam at the time was so, like, you know, blown up. Like, everybody, if you got on Def Jam, you was, you made it. Like, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. And so I can remember Bob Sumner coming to DC and asking me to come up to New Jersey to audition. And I, I always tell this story, like, I went up there with, another uh, comedian from dc and he drove and when we got in there it was bill bellamy was hosting this room this is like this room was like the rowdiest room that you can be in it was super <laughs> rowdy it's called a peppermint lounge but bob said if you get through this room you you're gonna be on def jam so my my my, my ride went up first and they tore his butt up i mean they got, <laughs> he got no love i mean they tore him up I don't even think he got 30 seconds off. You know, Bill came back up there, fried him up. Naughty by nature, everybody was there. I can remember Naughty by nature, Queen Latifah. Uh, it was a lot, like, uh, yes, it was man. a lot of people in the audience. It was like all New Jersey uh, uh, entertainment was up there. And I can remember everybody was laughing and fried. Bill was frying them. And I can remember Bob came back. It was like, um, you know, right now um, it's your turn, and um, <laughs> uh, I want you to make sure you go. He he, he told us like, you know, I make sure you, you go up there. It's like Baby Russell. You make sure you go up there and and do your thing, you know, because your your man's not gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so scared that I destroyed that joint. I'm talking about to the T destroyed it i mean i couldn't i they don't give you for five minutes but that five minutes i said i am not getting booed i'm gonna destroy this joint and he came back and said, yeah you made it and i did the apollo i did def jam that same weekend i did the apollo first and then i did def jam and i and i felt like at that time being that young straight out the city i, I felt like i had made it and then uh shortly after that i did teen summit and Team Summer asked me to move to New York uh, to uh, produce uh, Team Summer's uh, show and be a host. And I was like, yeah, all right, cool. And the rest is history. I quit my job at the Recreation Center, DPR, and <laughs> <laughs> I was working at Rears Road Recreation Center and East Cap Re Recreation Center. I was like, all right, uh, it's over. Um, it's official. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, I mean, I know you right. went to Savannah with, 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 uh, with Uncle Shannon and all that, you know, Club Shay Shay. Uh, what, position, what position did you play? Did you Was you on the bench? Like, come on, tell the truth now. Yeah. You know no, we can, can look it up now. Yeah, you can definitely look it up. My, uh, I play fullback. I always tell Sharp, I'm the reason why he in the pros because he, he used to tell us, hey, give him four seconds. If I give him four seconds, you know, our quarterback uh, name was Richard Basil. He going to get it to Sharp. He going to get it to him. So, you know, I ain't stay on the bench. I had fun. I just ain't stay at school long enough. Uh, I, I kind of came. I went to another school shortly after that, and I, I ended up coming back home and started my comedy career. So, I mean, I, went to, I came home and went to UDC actually. And from UDC, I started working for the parks and then I started doing comedy. So, but I did have that, that shining two years that I had fun like, <laughs> at, yeah. at, at Savannah Pur State. Purpose yeah. over popularity, huh? That's what hey, it is. Uh, hey, I, I, God be moving you. God will mm -hmm. move you where you be at. And I don't even, I ain't question them. I just, you know, I, I moved into my my purpose. I know that's right. right. Yeah, well, I appreciate so, you coming on, down and Yeah, I was about to say man, that. Man, you man. know, I was about to say that. You. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Oprah. 
<laughs> you know, anyway, before we let you go, go ahead and let everybody know where we can find you at on social media, how we can support uh, your campaign, how we can also support your nonprofits. Just put everything out there so that way, you know, we can post that clip and then we ain't got to recite it. I can just hit play and play you back. <laughs> hey, you can catch me on you can catch me on Instagram, Red Grant, R E D G R A N T. Or you can catch me, uh, Grant for Med. That's the number four, med.com. Uh, we started my listening tour uh, this week on Sunday, uh, starting on P Street. And we'll be moving around the city where people will get a chance to just talk to me directly in person while I just listen to people and, and what's how they feel and what, what we need to change. You know, we all need to just come together and have that, that, that real conversation. So you can go to Grant for Med to find out where the listening tours will be. And, you know, I just want you guys to keep up. The movement is crazy. Shout out to everybody on Team Red. And I appreciate everybody who's uh, following the movement. And the movement is is, 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 um, is heavy right now. And I just appreciate everybody who's a part of it. And I appreciate you guys for being a part of it and having me on your show tonight. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you know, one last one. When is voting for everybody so that way they can vote for you? All right, so voting is next year, but you can register to vote right now. And if you haven't registered to vote, and you can register to vote on Grant Number Four Med, so GrantForMed.com. You can also become a volunteer on GrantForMed.com, and you can also donate on GrantForMed.com. And I always tell people, you know, you know, donate if you can. Uh, you know, if your if your max is twenty dollars, you know, donate that twenty. You know, and right now, we're gonna, you know, keep pushing. We want to be able to register um, so many voters that, you know, we're going to have more votes than any mayor has ever had in the city of Washington, D.C. They can't put a candidate in front of me that's going to beat me. Uh, we're going to go hard till we can't go. We want to encourage the uh, returning citizens that to vote because they can. And a lot of times they don't know that they can vote. So all my returning citizens, make sure y'all uh, register to vote. Make sure all my young people, uh, if you're 17, if you turn 18 before December next year, you can vote. And we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna motivate so many people to vote. Um, I call the party to the polls. Let's go. It's your boy Rodney Red Grant, and you tuned in to the party before the party, before the party, before the party. Before the party. <laughs> Keep laughing at these fools. <laughs> Let's go. Y'all are turning the party right now, baby. We are the party before the party. Yeah. Powered by GoGo TV. Our Instagram is Justice J. Bishop King, DJ Rigging on ones and twos. And thank you very much to Rodney Red Grant, Grant for Mary, you guys. Make sure y'all support. Go register to vote and get out here, get out here, get out here, because he's out here too. So, Rick, we turning it over to you. Hey, Let's Ray. get this right. Yeah. Backyard, you say? Yeah, I need yeah. that. <laughs> What you know about fried, fried chicken? Mm. <laughs> we talking about that fried, fried chicken for your red. Vote for Grant. Make sure you get out there and register and make sure you vote. Here we go. We gonna give you a special mix before you go. I want some of that good old We gonna give you that back y'all, and we gonna make sure back y'all gonna back you up. Yeah, baby. Sound. But they give me the little taste of that sort of sound. 